Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyeks Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Welcome. It's a new day, the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice. Today we're going to pray from Ephesians 1, 16 to 17 where Paul was writing to the church in Ephesus and he was explaining to them that he always prays for them. What is he praying about? He's praying that the Lord will give them the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation so that they may know the Lord better. And I think it's a good prayer to pray for today. So Father, we honor and thank you so much today. And Lord, I pray for all your people that are connected today, Lord. I ask that you release the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation so that they may grow in their knowledge of you. I ask for your blessing to be upon their hands and their house and their home, Lord, today in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you read your Bible and look at the lives of Christians, you will notice that there's a huge disparity between what you read in the Bible and what you see in the life of Christians. If you look, there's a particular city where Apostle Paul went to preach and they said that the people were shouting in Lyconian language. Actually, that's in Acts chapter 14 verse 11. They were shouting in their language and they were saying the gods have come down to us in human form. Why were they saying that? It's because of the demonstration of the power of God operating through Apostle Paul. But then you look at the average Christian's life today. You don't see those manifestations today. The reason is because of something the Bible tells us in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. It is not because God is not powerful. It's not because God has changed. It is because the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. In other words, the reason we are operating at the level we are operating today and not at the level of the apostles is because of a knowledge we do not have. And when you don't have the right knowledge, you cannot do the right thing. So there's something Apostle Paul and these other men knew that the church today seems to have lost touch with and it is an inheritance in Christ. And what inheritance am I talking about? I'm talking about the name of Jesus. What the name of Jesus can do in the life of a person or in the life of a nation. You know, so the name of Jesus is something that God gave to us as an inheritance. Now, the thing about the name of Jesus is that everything that Jesus accomplished, he defeated the devil, he defeated sickness, he defeated disease, all those things that Jesus accomplished. The Bible says he didn't accomplish it for himself. He accomplished accomplished it for us. In other words, when Jesus defeated the devil, you were the one defeating the devil. When Jesus defeated sickness and disease, you were the one defeating sickness and disease. Let's take a look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 21 and 22. He says, now Jesus is being referred to here. He said, now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. In other words, everything that Jesus did was not for himself. It is for you and I. It's for the church. So the moment the church loses sight of that, the moment the church loses sight of the name of Jesus, they will be destroyed. Anytime you're seeing destruction in the life of a believer, it is tied to something he doesn't know. So one information and knowledge we need to have today is that we have the name of Jesus, number one. Number two, that every single thing you know that Jesus accomplished, he did it for your benefit. And the Bible says the name of Jesus is our inheritance. So don't let the devil cheat you out of anything. Anytime the devil harasses your life with sickness, with disease, with stress, with poverty, whatever it is the devil decides to harass your life with, remind him that every single thing that Jesus did, he did it for your benefit. Now that also means because the name of Jesus is your inheritance. You can go to God using the name of Jesus to get your needs met, to get situations changed on your behalf. Why? You have an inheritance in Christ and everything Jesus did, he did it for your benefit. So you can't lose any battle if you use the name of Jesus. So why don't you go on your knees right now and pray and tell the Lord about those things you want him to do. Remind the Lord Jesus that 
everything he did, he did it for you. He did it for your benefit. And you are here to claim your rights and your privileges as his child. And you're going to see situations and circumstances turn around on your behalf. Don't forget, the Bible says that the name of Jesus is above every name and that God has put all things under the authority of Christ. So if all things are under the authority of Christ, it actually means they are under your authority. If you will use the name of Jesus, you will see that those things that God has put under authority will begin to work for your benefit as you use the name of Jesus in the place of prayer. Thanks so much for listening. God bless you. How much is for other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram, all on the handle Oyik's Alfred. The name of Any other